So the time is finally here when we get to do our first ever Super Ink Movie Club reviews and I am so excited apart from the movie choice. So if you've joined me on live streams you will probably know what Super Ink Movie Club is but if you haven't I decided to set up this movie club so that once a month we movie fans on YouTube can all review the same film and watch each other's reviews of the same film and get discussions going and just see how our opinions differ. Once a month towards the end of the month I will do a live stream and we can collectively decide which four films will go to a Twitter poll and then that Twitter poll will decide which film will become the next month's movie of choice and the movie of choice that we will all be watching and reviewing in June is The Breakfast Club and Everybody can be part of the Super Inc. Movie Club. You can all watch the film and review it and we can all interact and have a lot of fun. Also there will be a section on my website which you can find in the description where I will put all of the Super Inc. Movie Club videos. If I haven't put your video there, please do email me your video and I'll make sure it gets added to the list. So the May film of choice ended up against my wishes but it's a democracy. It went to a Twitter poll is Deadpool. And I had to give it a second watching because I'd already seen it but quite a while ago. And I have to say that I don't have a very strong opinion about this film so this will be a very brief review from me. On the one hand I can see the appeal. It's very self-aware as a comic book film. It has a lot of cliches in it that makes a comedy out of the cliches that we find in superhero movies and, and comic book adaptations. And it is entertaining. And I'm not saying that I was bored when I was watching it, but I think because so many people put Deadpool on such a high pedestal that I thought it was going to be laughs from start to finish. And for me, that just wasn't the case. I think it feels very different to your typical superhero film. Now, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a DC girl. I love the darkness of the Dark Knight. I love Batman. Uh, so having Deadpool being a bit more bright and colourful and you know, it's, it's more about the comedy than it is about the action sequences. So it is a very different experience. So if you're wanting to enjoy a comic book story without having that darkness and that need to pay 100% attention to everything or you won't understand it, I think Deadpool's a really good option for that. Deadpool is a character I thought was fine. I think visually, I think visually when he's in his costume, yes, he does look quite interesting. I am really looking forward to the second Deadpool film. I've seen the trailer a few times and every time I just think yeah this looks incredible, this looks really funny. I think the second film will be better than the first one for me. I don't know if that'll be a unanimous decision uh, but for me I think it'll be better. So I'm looking forward to watching The Breakfast Club for June. That's one that I haven't seen so that'll be a first viewing, first opinions review as opposed to this one where I gave it a second chance and my opinion just didn't really change that much. Thank you for watching this review. To everybody who takes part in the monthly Super Inc. Movie Club, I'm so happy to have you on board. Spread the word, tell your friends, let's get as many people involved as we can. Tweet about it, we'll use the hashtag Super Inc. Movie Club, and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye!